In this video, we present an overview of DevOps dashboards, including their definition and purpose, as well as their key components and functionality. Next, we discuss five popular DevOps dashboard platforms, listing their main features, as well as their advantages and disadvantages. Then, we explore the key takeaways and considerations for choosing a suitable DevOps dashboard. Finally, we explore the DIY DevOps dashboard, a dashboard I put together, which is an excellent starting point for those new to DevOps. It helps learners organize their DevOps tools in one place to observe their statuses and to better understand how they work together in a DevOps lifecycle. DevOps dashboards are visual interfaces that provide real-time insights and metrics on the health, performance, and progress of dev and operations processes. These DevOps dashboards consolidate and present data from various sources, such as monitoring tools, build systems, version control systems, and more. The main purpose of DevOps dashboards is to provide a centralized and easily accessible view of critical information, enabling teams to quickly identify issues, track progress, and make informed decisions. The real-time and visual nature of DevOps dashboards also aids in improving efficiency, productivity, and overall software quality by enabling teams to monitor key metrics, identify bottlenecks, and take proactive actions to address them. DevOps dashboards consist of various components and offer a range of functionalities to support software development and operations processes. Some of the key components and functionalities include data aggregation, visualization, metrics and key performance indicators, alerting and notifications, customizability, collaboration features, historical data analysis, and integration capabilities. Overall, the key components and functionalities of DevOps dashboards enable teams to gain actionable insights, make data-driven decisions, and improve the efficiency and quality of their software development and operations processes. Five popular DevOps dashboards. Grafana is a widely used open source DevOps dashboard that offers a range of features to monitor and visualize metrics from various data sources. Some of the main features of Grafana include data source integration, customizable visualizations, dashboard templating, and alerting and notifications. Some advantages of Grafana are user-friendly interface, wide community support, and extensibility. While disadvantages of Grafana include steep learning curve for advanced features, being resource intensive, and lack of native time series database. Overall, Grafana's extensive features, user-friendly interface, and strong community support make it a popular choice for creating powerful and customizable DevOps dashboards. However, users should be aware of the potential learning curve for advanced features and the resource requirements when deploying Grafana. Prometheus is an open source monitoring and alerting tool that is often used in conjunction with Grafana to create comprehensive DevOps dashboards. Here are the main features of Prometheus. Time series data collection, flexible query language, alerting and monitoring rules, as well as service discovery and auto-targeting. Advantages of Prometheus include powerful monitoring capabilities, scalability and reliability, and active community and ecosystem. Some disadvantages of Prometheus are storage and retention and lack of advanced visualization. Prometheus is often used as a data source for Grafana, as Grafana provides a more advanced and flexible visualization layer on top of Prometheus. Together, Prometheus and Grafana form a powerful combination for monitoring, analyzing, and visualizing metrics. Next up is Datadog a popular cloud-based monitoring and analytics platform that offers a wide range of features for creating DevOps dashboards. Here are the main features of Datadog. Comprehensive monitoring, real-time visualization, and alerting and collaboration. Some advantages of Datadog are ease of use, rich integrations, and comprehensive monitoring capabilities. Disadvantages of Datadog include cost, learning curve for advanced features, as well as cloud dependency. Overall, Datadog's comprehensive monitoring capabilities, ease of use, and rich integrations make it a popular choice for creating DevOps dashboards. However, 
organizations should consider the cost implications and evaluate the learning curve for advanced features when deciding to adopt Datadog as their monitoring and dashboarding solution. Then we have Elasticstack, traditionally known as the Elk Stack, a popular open source log management and analytics platform consisting of four main components, Elasticsearch, Logstash, Kibana, and Beats. Advantages of Elasticstack include scalability and flexibility, powerful log analysis, and open source and active community. Some disadvantages of Elasticstack are complexity and learning curve, resource intensive, and maintenance and monitoring. Overall, Elasticstack's scalability, powerful log analysis capabilities, and active community support make it a popular choice for log management and analytics. However, organizations should be prepared for the initial complexity, resource requirements, and ongoing maintenance associated with deploying and managing the Elasticstack. Finally, we have New Relic, a cloud-based observability platform that provides monitoring and analytics capabilities for applications, infrastructure, and customer experience. Here are the main features of New Relic. Application performance monitoring, infrastructure monitoring, real user monitoring, and synthetic monitoring. Advantages of New Relic include all-in-one observability platform, ease of use, and analytics and insights. Some disadvantages of New Relic are cost, limited customization, and dependency on external infrastructure. Overall, New Relic's all-in-one observability platform, ease of use, and analytics make it a popular choice for monitoring applications, infrastructure, and user experience. However, organizations should consider the cost implications and evaluate the level of customization required when choosing New Relic as their observability solution. Here are some key considerations for choosing a suitable DevOps dashboard. Identify your specific needs. Evaluate scalability and flexibility. Assess customization and extensibility. Consider learning curve and ease of use. Evaluate cost considerations. And consider community support and ecosystem. The DIY or do-it-yourself DevOps dashboard is a basic DevOps dashboard I've designed. It runs as a Flask application and so is written primarily in Python with JavaScript for functionality and styled with HTML and CSS. The DIY DevOps dashboard is mainly populated with data returned from API calls and gives DevOps learners a place to organize and visualize their DevOps tools. I recommend anyone new to DevOps to create accounts and play with all technologies displayed on the dashboard so they can obtain an understanding of what these tools do and how they work together in a DevOps lifecycle. All items inside of an individual box are clickable, taking you to the relevant repo, project, or resource. You can also send a report of what's displayed in the dashboard as a message to a WebEx space with the click of a button. The DevOps dashboard is automatically refreshed and populated with up-to-date data every five minutes. Here you can see the report which was sent to our WebEx space. To make all this work, simply clone the repo in a virtual environment, place the relevant credentials in a .env file, install the required dependencies, and run the DIY DevOps dashboard. All the steps are explained in detail in the repo on Cisco Code Exchange. The DIY DevOps dashboard is for demonstration purposes only, as it is meant as a learning tool. In this video, we have explored DevOps dashboards and their purpose, key components, and functionalities. We've also discussed five popular DevOps dashboards, including Grafana, Prometheus, Datadog, Elasticstack, and New Relic, highlighting their main features, advantages, and disadvantages. Lastly, we've discussed key considerations for choosing a suitable DevOps dashboard. Additionally, we've introduced a DIY DevOps dashboard as a tool for DevOps learners to organize and visualize some essential DevOps technologies. Thank you for exploring DevOps dashboards with us. We hope you've enjoyed the presentation and found something here to spark your interest further. 
For more DevOps info, be sure to visit the DevOps Group Hub on the Cisco community. As always, we're located in the Developer Hub.